Hello students, myself Jinali Shah welcomes you on behalf of Saraswati International Academy. Students, today we will begin with the next part of the chapter Principles of Inheritance and Variations. Students, in the last or in the previous lectures or videos we have studied regarding the chromosomal theory of inheritance. Now today we will deal with the experimental proof related to the chromosomal theory of inheritance. So students, the experimental verification of chromosomal theory of inheritance it was given by Thomas Hunt Morgan and his colleagues. Thomas Hunt Morgan and his colleagues they gave the experimental verification of chromosomal theory of inheritance and while they were uh, doing the experiment they led to the discovery of the basis of the variation lies actually in the sexual reproduction while they were performing experiments to prove the X chromosomal theory of inheritance they led to the discovering the basis of variation that sexual reproduction produced they found that what was the reason of the variations which occurred at the time of the sexual reproduction so Experimental verification of chromosomal theory of inheritance by Thomas Morgan and his colleagues led to discovering the basis of variation that sexual reproduction produced. Are you getting my point? Uh, Thomas Hunt Morgan and his colleagues they were working on the experiments to verify the chromosomal theory of inheritance. When they were uh, working on that experiment, they led to the discovery that the what was the reason of the variations which occurred at the time of the sexual reproduction. Now, on what did the Thomas Morgan Hunt and uh, Thomas Hunt Morgan and his colleagues uh, work? So Morgan he worked with the tiny fruit flies called as Drosophila melanogaster, which were found very suitable for such studies. So basically, what was their study material? Their study material was a fruit fly whose scientific name is Drosophila melanogaster. Now, like Mendel, he selected pea plants. There were certain reasons why Mendel selected garden pea plant for his study. Similarly, why Morgan studied or why Morgan selected the fruit fly for the studies and not other organism? Why Mon uh, Morgan selected the fruit flies for his studies? So there are several reasons. So which are the reasons? First reason is they could be grown on a simple synthetic medium in the laboratory. So, this fruit flies can be grown easily in the laboratory on a simple culture mediums. Their life cycle was very short. They completed their life cycle in about two weeks. So, within the two weeks they would get the results. Now, a single mating could produce large number of the progeny flies. So, single reproduction, single mating resulted in the formation of large number of progeny flies. Now, there was a clear differentiation of sexes. That is, the male and female flies could be easily distinguished. So, that was the another reason that clearly the sexes were distinguishable. We can see, we can tell which one would be a male fly and which one could be a female fly. And lastly, it has many types of hereditary variations which can be seen with the low power microscopes. So, there are many hereditary characters which can be studied in the fruit flies and these all variations can be studied under the simple low power microscopes. So these were some of the reasons why Mendel selected fruit, uh, sorry, why Morgan selected fruit flies for his studies. First is they could be easily grown in the simple, on the simple synthetic medium in laboratory. Their life cycle is short, that is it completed the life cycle in two weeks. So results could be obtained earlier. 
a single mating resulted in production of large number of progeny flies male and females could be easily distinguished and finally it has lot many of the hereditary characters which could be easily seen under the low power microscopes so these were the reason why morgan selected fruit flies for his studies now students as i told you when they experimented to prove or when they experiment to verify the chromosomal theory of inheritance it led to the discovery that what was the basis of variations which led during the or which took place during the sexual reproduction sexual reproduction resulted in the variation so what was the reason for that variation they could find out when they were experimenting on the fruit flies to verify the chromosomal theory of inheritance and the reason they got was the linkage and recombination now we will see what is linkage and recombination but before that what experiment was performed by thomas morgan now like mendel he carried out the dihybrid cross right we know that mendel he carried out the dihybrid crosses similarly morgan also carried out the dihybrid cross on the uh, drosophila flies so morgan carried out dihybrid crosses in drosophila to study genes that were sex linked what are sex linked genes so genes which are present on the sex chromosomes they are called as the sex linked genes what are sex linked genes the genes present on the sex chromosome so basically uh, he wanted to study the sex linked genes and for that he carried out the dihybrid cross in the drosophila now uh, what were the parental organisms so he hybridized or you can say he crossed the yellow bodied wide eyed female flies what a yellow bodied and white eyed female flies with the brown bodied and red eyed male fly what was the parental combination the females were having yellow body and white eyes and the males were having the brown body and red eyes and he carried out the crosses then he intercross that is he self the f1 progeny now students according to the mendel's dihybrid experiment what was the ratio obtained the ratio obtained the phenotypic ratio which we obtained in the dihybrid cross was 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 that was the dihybrid ratio according to the mendel's dihybrid experiment but student here he observed that the two genes uh, basically two characters we which we are studying one of the character is body color and another one is the color of the eyes these are the two characters studied in the dihybrid cross now to his surprise he observed that the two genes they didn't segregate it separately right they didn't segregate independently normally according to the law of independent assortment the assortment or you can say segregation of one gene is independent of the segregation of the other gene but here that law didn't prove true he observed that the two genes they didn't segregate independently of each other and as the two genes they seg didn't segregate it independently the f2 ratio which was 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 it deviated it was changed significantly from 9 is to 3 is to 1 so what was the reason why the two genes did not segregated independently and why the ratio f2 ratio deviated from 9 is to 3 is to 1 so for this he gave the theory of linkage and recombination so students we will study in detail the process of linkage and recombination now students we will deal with linkage and recombination so students what do you mean by linkage and recombination uh, i told you that mendel's law of independent assortment it holds true only for those chromosome for those genes which are located on different chromosomes i also told you that there are as many more, much more characters as compared to the number of chromosomes 
so students it means that there are many genes located on the single chromosome so how can we explain the inheritance of those genes which are present on the same chromosome so it can be explained through the process of linkage so linkage is an exception to the law of independent assortment so now students what is linkage so it is the tendency of the genes which are present on the same chromosome to stay together at the time of the hereditary transmission so at the time of inheritance the tendency of the same genes uh, or the tendency of the genes present on the same chromosome to stay together it is called as linkage what is linkage the tendency of the genes located on the same chromosome to stay together at the time of their transmission is known as linkage the tendency of the genes present on the same chromosome to stay together is called uh, in the time of the hereditary transmission is called as linkage and those genes which are located on the same chromosomes are called as linked genes what are linked genes the genes located on the same chromosomes are called as linked genes whereas those genes which are located on the different chromosomes are called as the unlinked gene now students there are two types of linkage one is complete linkage and another one is a incomplete linkage so what is complete linkage and what is incomplete linkage see we are dealing with the linkage so we are dealing with the linked genes linked genes are the genes which are present on the same chromosome so students what is the complete linkage so linkage in which the genes always shows the parental combination no newer combinations are formed that linkage is called as the complete linkage say for example this is a chromosome now this is gene a this is gene b this is gene c this is gene d now this chromosome say for example consists of how many genes four genes now here you can see that genes a and b they are located very close to each other how are they located they are close located very nearer to each other now these genes during transmission they will always show the parental combinations they will never form the newer combinations because at this time crossing over does not take place now students we have studied at the time of meiotic division what is crossing over what is crossing over exchange of the genes between the non sister chromatids of the homologous chromosome is called as what it is called as the uh, what is it called as it is called as the crossing over basically in simple layman term we can say it is the exchange of the genes but now students here as these two genes they are located very nearer to each other they never show the recombinations or you can say no new combinations will be formed such linkage is called as the complete linkage now students suppose the next one is the incomplete linkage now i talk about the gene a and gene d now see students these two genes they are located far away from each other how are they located they are located very far away from each other so during their inheritance what will happen chiasma will be formed and the new combinations apart from the parental combinations will be formed so new combinations appear along with the parental combinations that is crossing over exchange of genes takes place such linkage is called as the incomplete linkage so there are two types of linkage one is complete linkage and another one is the incomplete linkage now students on what the strength of the linkage depends so students the strength of the linkage is inversely proportional to the distance between the linked genes 
that is if the distance between the genes is more strength is less if the distance is less strength is more as well as it is also inversely proportional to the crossing over more new combinations strength is less less new combinations strength is more now students we st i told you uh, that uh, morgan he carried out the experiments on fruit fly and there he studied the two characters one is body color and another one is the eye color now one of uh, he cross the male uh, flies as well as the female flies now when he studied those characters he knew that the genes were located on the x chromosomes and he very quickly saw that when the two genes in the dihybrid cross were situated on the same chromosome the proportion of the parental gene combination was much more higher than the non parental type so when he crossed the drosophila flies and he carried out a dihybrid cross for the genes which were located on the same chromosome he found that the proportion of the parental combination was much more higher than the non parental types now what did morgan called this so morgan attributed this due to the physical association or linkage of the two genes what uh, he found that the parental combinations was much more than the non parental combinations so for this he used he told that it is due to the physical association or it was due to the linkage of the two genes and he was the one who termed the or who coined the term linkage and what is linkage it is the physical association of the genes on a chromosome it is a physical association of the genes on the chromosome and what is recombination so recombination means a generation of the non parental combination so apart from the parental combinations the newer combinations were also formed what was that called as that was called as the recombination so two terminologies one is linkage and another one is the recombination what is linkage physical association of the genes located on the same chromosome and recombination is formation of the non parental combinations or formations of the new combinations apart from the parental combinations now students morgan he also found that even when the genes were grouped on the same chromosome some genes were tightly linked and showed very low recombination while other were loosely linked and showed higher recombination now morgan what he also found he also found that even when the genes were present on the same chromosome now students i told you the examples these are the genes a b c and d so what did he found he found that even if the genes are present on the same chromosome some genes they were tightly linked that is they were closely located with each other they were closely located near each other and they showed very less recombination but some genes were uh, located very apart from each other and they showed the higher recombinations students this i will be dealing with you here with the crosses we will be studying two crosses now and from this crosses you will be clear that those genes which are located uh, very near to each other on the chromosomes they will show less recombinations and the genes which are located away from each other will show more recombinations this we will be dealing with by seeing the two crosses in the drosophila flies now students one of the student of morgan his name was alfred stewart evant so now his student alfred stewart evant he used the frequency of the recombination between gene pairs on the same chromosome as a measure of distance between genes 
now what did alfred stewart want who was the student of morgan used as a measure of distance between the genes so he used the frequency of recombination between the gene pairs how uh, what was the frequency of the recombination between the gene pairs on the same chromosome as a measure of the distance between the genes if the recombination frequency was more if the recombination frequency was more he told that the distance between the genes is more and if the recombinations are less that is less parental combination less non parental combination then the distance between the genes is less so in the genetic maps after that he mapped the position of the genes on the chromosomes so in a genetic map different genes are linearly arranged according to the percentage of the recombination what are genetic maps it is the basically the different genes are arranged linearly on the chromosome according to what according to the percentage of recombination and this percentage of recombination is proportional to the distance between the genes if the distance between the genes is more more recombinations if the distance between the genes is less less recombinations and students if we want to study the genome of an organism this genetic maps play the very 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 important role so that is regarding the linkage and recombinations now students i told you that we will study the crosses in the drosophila fly and we will show the linkage in the tight linkage of the tightly linked genes as well as in the loosely linked genes now students we will deal with the two crosses shown by the morgan now morgan he crossed a male and female drosophila male and female drosophila flies with the genes y and w and in another cross he crossed a drosophila male and female drosophila with the genes w and m so now students first of all we will study first cross and then we will deal with the second cross now students here these are the female flies and this is for the this symbol it stands for the uh, females and this symbol it stands for the male now students uh, the two traits were basically we are talking about two genes one is y gene and another one is the w gene so basically they stands for what they stand for body color and the eye color what do they stand for they stand for the body color and the eye color now students there are two possibilities in the body color so one possibility is yellow body and another one is the brown body and the next possibility for the eye color the next character was the eye color we are talking about two genes two genes means two character so basically the y gene it stands for the body color which have two possibilities yellow and brown and w gene it stands for the eye color which have again two possibilities one is white and another one is red now student he took basically the plus sign it stands for the wild type and they are always dominant the plus sign in the superscript it indicates the wild gene and wild gene are always which type of genes dominant genes so basically what morgan did he crossed the female flies which were having now see students very important both these genes the genes for body color and the genes for the eye color where are they located students they are located only on the x chromosome their counterpart are ex absent on the y chromosome so students wherever you will find the male see this is a this one is a male this one is also a male this one is the male this one is also male so the counterpart of these genes 
are absent on the y chromosomes which type of link genes are they they are sex genes or you can say sex link genes sex link genes are the genes which are present on the sex chromosome now the genes for the body color and eye color they are located only on the x chromosome their counterparts will be absent or their alleles will be absent in the y chromosome so see here there are no genes here no genes here also you can say no genes and here also there are no genes now students morgan he carried out a cross between a female fly which was having a white uh, basically it was having a yellow color body and white eyed with a wild type female so wild type means it will be brown basically the body color will be brown and the eye color will be red now students this is you might assume that this thing is a complicated one so first of all we will perform a simple dye hybrid cross so it will be easier for you to remember so this part will be the this is basically the x uh, female and this one is a male now students he took a pure female that is pure breeding females which color was the basically for the body so yellow colored body and white colored eye he crossed it with the wild type male so basically brown colored body and the red colored eye now students we will see so these were the parents what are the gametes obtained y w y w here y plus w plus and capital y indicates the y chromosome because its counterpart are absent on the y chromosome i have simply written capital y now students what will we obtain in the f1 generation so suppose i cross this with this what will i obtain y w y plus w plus this with this what will i obtain i will obtain y w y now next cross again if i cross with this what will i obtain y w y plus w plus and finally this with this what will i obtain y w and y so these are the possibilities this is what this as well as this both are the females and these two are the males this is the male and this is the female now he crossed the male and female flies of the f1 generation so what is the genotype of all the female flies y w y plus w plus and what is the genotype of all the males here so y w and capital y see students remember this is for your simplification only it is not mentioned in the book it is for you to remember it in an easier way remember that capital y is not standing for any of the gene basically it represents a y chromosome of the males now students here we will study the formation of the gametes so now students tell me which gametes will be formed so four possibilities here y w then y w plus clear then what will be the other possibility y plus and w and y plus w plus these are the four possibilities of the gametes y w then y with w plus then y plus with w and y plus with w plus so these are the four gametes formed from this female and here student there is only two possibility one is y w and another one is the y now students we will obtain the flies of the f2 generation so what will you obtain in the f2 generation 
if you cross this with this what will you obtain yw yw right now suppose i cross this with this what will be the possibility again tell me so it will be y w and y now students i will cross this with this so what possibility will be it will be y w plus and y w and by crossing this with this what possibility will i get i will get y w and y now the lower ones now i will cross this with this what possibility i will get y plus w y w and here again this with y i will obtain y plus w and y now students the last possibility this with this so y plus w plus and y w and this with this y plus w plus and y now students these are the total eight outcomes and of the f2 generation now students before studying the phenotypes let me tell you that here the genes y and w they are located nearer to each other how are they located they are located nearer to each other now as the genes are located nearer to each other see students on this side basically the f2 generation is there so this side represents the parental combinations and this side represents the non parental combination or you can say recombinants so here the parental combinations are more that is 98.7 are the parental combination whereas the recombinants formed are only of 1.3 percentage so student what is the reason for this so students here as the genes are located nearer to each other how are genes located they are located nearer to each other what is happening students there the new combinations formed are less the newer combinations are formed in the lesser percentage now see students y w y w what does it indicate it indicate the parental combination so now i will basically circle with the black color whatever are the parental combination so student is this a parental combination yes what is what does this indicate which colored body yellow colored body and white color eye here also it is a parental combination that is yellow color body and white colored eye now students here let me see in between we will see later on now students i am dealing with this so here this is w plus uh, y plus w plus and y w always the plus one is dominant so basically what is uh, what will be the genotype of the uh, phenotype of this so it will be brown bodied and the uh, red eyed or you can say it will be a wild type similarly this will be also a wild type right so these four are which type of combination parental combination and what is the percentage of the parental combination obtained here it is basically 98.7 percentage now students see here these are the newer combinations formed see here it is y w plus y w now here both are y y stands for basically yellow color but here w is with w plus now w plus is dominant over w what does w plus stand for red so this is a newer combination form 
what is this newer combination students here the newer combination is why it stands for what it stands for yellow and w it stands for red so students is this a parental combination no parental combination was yellow white and another one was brown red but here we obtained a new combination that is yellow red similarly here what combination will we get w it stands for what sorry y it stands for yellow and w plus it stands for red so this again is which combination the newer combination similarly this also is a newer combination what does this indicate w plus is dom uh, sorry y plus is dominant over y so y plus it stands for what color it stands for white color body whereas the uh, sorry y <coughs> the y plus it stands for the brown colored body and w it stands for what w it stands for white color eye so now students here you can see that there are two possibilities these are the two new combination was the brown white combination seen here no so these are the recombinants formed now students whatever this recombinants are formed so what are these these all are the recombinants and the percentage of recombinant is only 1.3 percentage so why what is the reason that only lesser amount of the recombinants are developed the lesser number of recombinants are developed because the distance between the two genes is less the distance between the two genes is less now students we will deal with the next cross so here also there are two traits two characters studied one is the eye color which is again red and white red and white red is which type of thing the wild type that is dominant type and white is the uh, recessive type and we in the next character m gene is there m gene it stands for the wing size so normal wing size that is represented by plus sign which is a dominant one and miniature or you can say rudimentary rings rudimentary wings means not well developed rings it is represented by the small m so here again there are two crosses now see students the here the distance between two genes is more as compared between the genes y and w the distance between the gene y and w is less whereas the distance between the genes w and m is more as the distance between the genes is more here you can see the percentage of recombinants is 37.2 percentage whereas here only 1.3 percentage recombinants were formed whereas here the frequency of the recombinants is or percentage of the recombinants is 37.2 so students it indicates that here as the distance between the two genes is more what will happen more recombinants will be formed now students we will understand this cross now what were taken as parents so female flies with white colored eye and miniature wings were crossed with the males of wild type wild type means they were having red colored eyes and the normal wings so here of course they were pure parents so basically the gametes obtained here is wm wm and here w plus m plus here the capital y it stands for the chromosome and it does not stands for the genes it is for your convenience it is for you to remember easy i have written capital y now students what would be the uh, uh, crosses or what would be the results in the f1 generation so in the f1 generation i will cross this with this so what will i obtain wm 
W plus M plus. Now I will cross this with this. What will I obtain? W, M, N, Y. Similarly, crossing this with this, I will obtain W, M, W plus M plus. And again, this with this, I will obtain W, M, N, Y. So, all the flies of the F1 generation, in the female one, they were which type of flies? This is the wild type. Why? Because the plus genes are dominant over the simpler ones. And here all the males obtained, they are which type of males? So basically with the white, board, uh, white eye color and the miniature wing. Now students, I will be crossing the males and females of the F1 generation. So basically, I will be crossing the males, uh, females. What is it? What is the combination of the females? So it is WM, W plus, M plus. And what is the combination of the males? It is WM and capital Y. Again I am telling you capital Y does not represent the gene. It is only for your convenience. It is for you to remember easier. I have written in this way. Now students, what are the gametes produced for the female? So basically it will be, what possibilities are there? WM. Then again W with M plus. Then what is the next possibility? W plus plus M and W plus M plus. Right students? These are the four gametes. W, M, W with M plus. Then W plus with M and W plus M plus. And students... The males will form only two types of gamete. One is WM and one will have the Y chromosome. Now students, the same way I will be crossing it. So suppose this with this. What will I obtain? So basically these are the flies of the F2 generation. So what will I obtain? WM, WM. This with this, what will I obtain? W, M and Y. Now students, this with this. So what will I obtain? W, M plus W, M. Again this with this, I will obtain W, M plus and Y. Now students, this with this. So what will I obtain? W plus M, W M, this with this, W plus M and Y. Now students, last one, this with this, I will obtain W plus M plus W, M and this with this I will obtain W plus M plus and Y. Now students here you can see this. What is the phenotype for this? White and miniature. What is this? This is also white and miniature right now what is this what is this students so this is wild type right wild type means what red and normal and again this is sorry this is also a wild type which means the red colored eye and normal wings so, all these, the black ones, what are they? Parental. 
Now, what is the parental combination? 62.8 percentage. But students, this all, this one is which combination students? This one, tell me. So, it will be W M plus W. What W stands for? W stands for with what? So, basically it stands for wide and M plus it stands for normal wing. Right? Similarly, this is also for white colored eye and the normal wing. So, students, is this a parental combination? No. This is a newer combination form. Similarly, these two are also the newer combinations. What are these? W plus. So, basically W plus means it is red colored eye and the M, it stands for the miniature wings. So, this is also what? A recombination. Now here students, the percentage of the recombinants is 37.2. So why this different percentage? Why here the recombination is uh, less and here the recombination is more? So students, the reason here is the genes Y and W they are located nearer to each other. So, they form more parental combinations as compared to the recombinants. Whereas here the genes W and M, they are distantly located. And as they are distantly located, what is the condition? More recombination will be formed. So, students, this is regarding the recombinations. Are you getting my point? This is the recomb these are the two crosses with the two different characters in the drosophila. In one cross we have studied the two traits that is body color and eye color and in the other cross the eye color and the wing size. In both the conditions the distance between the genes is different. Here in the cross first where body color and eye color were considered the distance between the genes was basically less. So the percentage of recombinant was only 1.3 percentage. Whereas in this cross where we considered eye color and wing size the distance between these two genes is more and hence the recombinants are formed in more percent. So students, today I end my lecture here. I end my lecture here. Thank you students.